and we back. Y'all, yesterday we got a huge trade in the NBA world. Russell Westbrook is now playing with the Washington Wizards. It was something that we saw rumors about a couple weeks ago, but I definitely didn't expect it to happen on a random Wednesday while I was getting ready to eat dinner. I dropped the video on my other channel giving my full reaction to it if you're curious, but in today's video, I'm following Russell Westbrook and trying to rebuild the Washington Wizards. If things go as planned, I'll eventually rebuild the Houston Rockets with John Wall and see how that works out, but today I'm following Brody because y'all know he's one of the guys I need to see win a championship, so anytime I can help him out, I will. It's going to be interesting though because y'all know he's one of the biggest contracts in the league. They already got Bradley Beal's extension, so doing a rebuild for this team might be a little bit difficult, but I'm here for it. Well, I guess it's time to do this. <laughs> we still got some merch left, y'all. You don't want to miss this. It'll only be on sale for a few more days. So if you are late to the party, that's cool. But, I mean, eventually you're going to run out of time. So hit that link in the description. Cop a hoodie, a shirt, a crew neck, whatever you really want. Um, because it will be gone sooner rather than later. Now, the crazy part about the timing of this is that I was about to literally just sit back and do an off-camera rebuild and have some fun. And the Washington Wizards was going to be the team I was going to use. I was going to try to see what I can do with John Wall and Bradley Beal, but instead I'm recording the video with no John Wall, with no Bradley Beal. Now, as I'm recording this, 2K hasn't updated the rosters and hopefully it'll be done by the time the video is out. So I just kind of want to see, does this trade make sense in 2K logic? Russell Westbrook for John Wall. Let's see, let's see. Uh, so straight up, they'll probably say no, but obviously the trade didn't happen straight up. They had to throw in a 2023 first round pick that is protected. I don't know how much it protected. So let's say it's top 10 protected. They still say no. I'm going to have to force this trade to happen for 2K to make it work. And here's something you're not going to see from me very often on this channel. Trade override is on. Trade override is on. And guess what? I'm not breaking any rules to make it happen. And then we're going back to the Houston Rockets. And then we throw it in that 20, 20, 23 pick. And hey, you got to say yes. There it is. So now let me go change the setting back. We have Russell Westbrook in Washington, D.C. on, what is this, his third team in three years. Same thing with like Chris Paul. Some of the some of the really good point guards um, that are kind of up there in age now, Russell Westbrook being 32 and Chris Paul being, whew, what is he, 65 years old, 35 years old. Um, they're just switching teams left and right, man. And hopefully it's successful for one of them. I just don't know. So on paper, this team is probably, with you have Russell Westbrook and you have Bradley Beal, you're probably going to be a playoff team. I forgot they gave Davis Bertens all this cash, bro. Davis Bertens, a Latvian laser, you can see it right here. This man is one of the greatest shooters in the NBA right now. But they gave this man a bag. And he's going to be getting paid to, he's 32 years old, a hit spot of threes. All right, that's interesting. Uh, the rest of the team can use some help. Now, this is not a one-year rebuild, as you could probably uh, suspect. This team is not going to turn... Russell Westbrook does not turn this team to a championship team, is what I mean. So, we're going to have to do a rebuild, and it's going to take multiple years. I'm trying to go to player mentorship. Because it's going to take multiple years, I do want eventually to have our boy Danny Abdiya being a big part of the eventual team when we win a championship. Because if you did not know, we do these real rebuilds. Um, I don't end until we win a championship. So that could be 20 years down the line. Hopefully it never is that much, but it could be 20 years down the line and I will still be playing here. So who do we want him? Let's get him like some, some random badges just so he's not a bum going into year number two. I'm kind of curious without me doing the trade, what 2K would think about this team. Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, Troy Brown Jr., Rui Hachimura, and Thomas Bryant off the bench have Davis Bertans. I, this is very weird because I don't know if you pay a guy $16 million a year to come off the bench, right? Are they going to say, we? they probably will do something like this, Rihachi Moore. I don't know what his foot speed will be like to guard small forwards in the league for real, but I feel like this is going to be something they do. Now, this is one of the worst defensive teams in the league last season. As you can see, Rihachi Moore's perimeter defense is, is bad, but you don't pay him. You don't pay Davis Bertens that much money and be like, hey, you're a six man. Now, I, I just don't think that's the case. First game of the season is going to be against the Raptors. I need to load in a draft class, and we lost. Well, Russell Westbrook put up good numbers. We want to go straight to this game. We want to go straight to the game that has Russell Westbrook going against James Harden and them, and we start off 0-4. That's not a good sign. Um, but this is, this is going to be a weird game. We want to simcast this one. We definitely want to simcast this one because, I mean... Hey, we may have some vent. Oh, we're down by 20 in the first quarter. Oh, okay. Our team sucks, apparently. 
they almost made the comeback. But it seems like throughout the first five games of the season, trading for Russell Westbrook is actually not that good of a thing. We get our first win against Detroit, but y'all know Detroit is one of the worst teams in the league, so that's not that much of a W. What do I want to do here? Because when you trade for a 32-year-old point guard, you're not doing it to miss the playoffs and think about next year. I think Russell Westbrook's overall is going to drop this season. So do I make a trade or two to try to get this team better now? And honestly, with a team like this, what they need the most is, is defense. I don't know why Rui Hachimura is upset. You're literally starting. Oh, because you suck. That's why you're upset. You, you can't hit a shot. This is going to be weird and out of nowhere, but I am trading for Chris Dunn to be our starting small forward. Yes, you heard me right. Like I mentioned, we need defense on this team, and Chris Dunn is going to be able to do that because he is an elite defender. I don't expect him to do anything other than play defense here. Honestly, don't do anything but play defense. I'm not looking for you to score. I, I think it might be a weird fit to have him and Russell Westbrook on the court together. Only time will tell. And then I guess Rui Hachimura is coming off the bench. I mean, he's already upset, so it ain't like it could get much worse. First game after the trades against the Cleveland Cavaliers, we take a W, but the Cleveland Cavaliers are another team that aren't very good at this moment, so not maybe not the most impressive win. Now we go against Boston, who are starting off the season kind of slow, but it's still Boston, so this will be a good testament to, to if that trade mattered and we win it. Um, Chris Dunn, five steals, five of them thanks, um, and he's shot efficiently. Like, if he can shoot efficiently and continue to get... I'm not asking him to get five steals a game, but if he can shoot efficiently and continue to, you know, play good defense, I think that's a good trade. Now, we do we have our backs against the wall right now when it comes to this playoff push, but we're putting together wins, man. We're putting together wins where we're having games where Russell Westbrook really struggled. 9.7 assists, five turnovers, but Bradley Beal's like, don't worry, Russ, I got you. I'm not going to average 30 no more, but I can still average 28, 27. Um... We are the 11th seed at the moment, 18 games in, and I'm not really, I'm not really tripping about it. I, I do think that we could, we could turn this around and make a playoff push, but only time will tell, man. I, let me see, my boy Denny Abdiya, he ain't shooting the ball great. I feel like all the rookies in this year's game have a rookie season where they aren't efficient at all. Uh, Davis Bertans doing what, picking up where he left off as far as an elite sniper. I'm guessing that Hachimura is really, yeah, Hachimura is really upset. But bro, you have to, you have to shoot the ball. Like, if it, like, come on, bro. 2K's whack for having him drop like this. But, like, even his per 36 look, look terrible. He was, a, he was a very good rookie player last year. And then they having him taking a huge sophomore slump to start off this season. I'm hoping that turns around. Because if that turns around, then I feel like our team will be better. Just like that. We're on a nice little four-game win streak. And that puts us as the eighth seed. As of right now, <laughs> I guess that's our ceiling. Being around the eighth seed. But I'll, I'll take it. Again, you don't trade for a 30-plus-year-old point guard to be like, ah, next year's going to be the year. Trade that line is here. I'm going to say, yes, stop it. But my boys did go on a nice little win streak in this area. And we are sitting as the fifth seed. Um, super competitive Eastern Conference this year. So that's good. We're actually better than the Bucks, So that's a W. Take a look around for us. Uh, James Harden. I mean, oh, I saw Russell Westbrook immediately thought of James Harden. I got to stop that. Bradley Beal averaging 25. And Russell Westbrook is averaging 24 and 8 and six um davis bertens 10 points thomas bryant 10 points i feel like thomas bryant it cannot be our starting center when it matters the most and hopefully when it matters the most is uh next season i just as good as he is offensively his defense really bothers me uh denny abd is actually averaging more points per game than rui hachimura and he's playing significantly less minutes 17.6 per 36 12 per 36 yo denny Yo, Denny, hmm, I'm tripping, bro. What we should have done with Denny Abdiya when it comes to this mentorship thing, have have Denny Abdiya be mentored not by uh, anybody other than, hold on, hold on, hold on, not by anybody other than a defensive player. If we can have Denny Abdiya be a plus defender, because next year he's our starter. That's the way I'm feeling. Next year he's going to be our starter. If he can learn from Chris Dunn defensively, <laughs> you know, we're going to be kind of nice. Now, let's take a look at the other team that we made the trade with. The Houston Rockets suck. Um, John Wall is averaging 16 points per game, 8 assists. Not shooting it terribly, like actually having the best statistical year when it comes to his shooting ability. But the team ain't been very good. I mean, James Harden goes from 34 points per game to 25. That's unlikely in real life. James Harden will probably still average 30 um, in real life. But, you know, 2K is not necessarily a great sim game. Um... Interesting that they're not a playoff team entirely. The Denver Nuggets are not a playoff team entirely, 
all right. So we're at the trade deadline, and unless I see somebody on the a team that is like selling, I don't think we make any trades. Like a selling team here, do they have anything that I would want? Answer is no. No selling team has anything that I really want. So we're just gonna go to the end of the season. Unless we completely fall off, we are 100% a playoff team. I should probably check to see if Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal were all stars. That's that's something I should do really quick. And they both were. So we ended up having two all stars. Neither of them performed well. One for five for Russell Westbrook and one for eight for Bradley Beal. But we had two all star caliber players. And it looks like we're going to be a playoff team for sure. Season is wrapped and Luka averaged a 36-point triple-double, basically. Ridiculous numbers. LaMelo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, sixth man. Giannis, defense player. Most approved goes to Jalen Bronson. That's very interesting. Uh, Coach Doc Rivers with the 76ers. And then Tyler Jameson, whoever the heck he's the executive of. Will we see Bradley Beal or Russell Westbrook make an NBA team? I don't know. I don't see either John Wall or James Hart. There's James Hart. Okay, so James Hart ends up making it. I don't know if they end up making the playoffs. They did it, but we did as the four seed. I'll, I'll take a four seed, man. I'll take a four seed. If you're wondering how the season ended for us statistically, boom, there's a snapshot. And then we, we always have to parallel it to the Houston Rockets because we made a trade with them. And here they are. They picked up Alonzo Trier and he was actually really nice for them, but they did not make the playoffs. How far were they out of it? Oh, very. They were 41 and 41. Yo, 41 and 41 was the 7th, the ninth seed, 10th seed. Bro, it was the 12th seed to be 41 and 41. And then now East, 43 wins got you into the playoffs. You need a 45 to get into the playoffs out West. The West is stacked, man. So we're going against Boston in the first round. And of course, Boston is a very good team. I don't think we win this series, but only time will tell. We are the higher seed at the end of the day. Game one is a win where Bradley Beal puts up 30. Good to see Bradley Beal back in the playoffs, man. Game two is a win where Russell Westbrook has his game. Uh, Jason Tatum has a game, but it didn't matter. 2-1. I, I didn't expect us to, to go out there and sweep them for sure. It would have been great, but I, I didn't expect that their big three all put up 20. Game four is a win for the Washington Wizards. Bradley Beal in the playoffs. You know what I need to do? I need to go in and shorten that rotation. What am I, what am I doing here? Put Chris Dunn back in because obviously Chris Dunn in the lineup has been working wonders. So... Do that. They want to make Mo, Mo Wagner start? No. We're going back to what we have with Thomas Bryant starting. Even though he's upset? I am triggered with everything that is... Why, though? What the heck happened? Like, I'm pretty sure you you have started every single game this season. And yet, you're upset. About what? We're, we're winning a playoff series right now, G. What are you upset about? Literally started all 82. I'm like, nah, not happy here. We're 3-1. We're up 3-1. We're about to go to the set. Second round. We're about to go to the second round. As I don't know how the heck the Brooklyn Nets were the eighth seed, but they were, and they dominated the one seed. Okay. Well, um, interesting stuff. Game one. Oh man. Oh man. This is about this is the best eighth seed of all time. Game two. Oh man. This is the best eighth seed of all time, bro. How did they only sneak in as an eighth seed? I'm done. All right. Ho I hope they win a championship. They got there and lost to Luka. I don't know how a team that's talented with no injury zone, might I add, ends up the eighth seed. I, I don't know. All right. All season time. And this is where the real rebuild starts. Um, the Bulls win the lottery. That's that's so beautiful. We have the 19th overall pick in this year's draft. Like I mentioned earlier, I did load in this draft class. So at 19, they're projecting us to get a guy like Terrence Clark. Or, according to 2K, they're expecting us to get Terrence Clark. NBA.com expect us to get Blake Owens. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to pick with this draft. I don't know. Um, Thomas Bryan is, is, is upset about something. I don't like that. So, he could be gone. Instead, I'm going to trade up. Uh, the Spurs want Thomas Bryan to be their center of the future with DeMar and Lamarck is probably gone. And we trade up to, I think it was the ninth overall pick or something like that. So I'll, I'll take that. There's, I forget there's so many players that are free agents in 2021. A lot of the players that I would rather trade for are free agents this offseason. So um, we're we going to let it ride. We're going to let it ride with what we got. And best on the board. Oh, my God. How? I haven't seen Jonathan Kaminga play um, because he's one of those G League players. But he is the best guy available. Um so I'll just go with best guy available at this point and figure the rest out later. Uh, was that the right pick? 
I guess only time will tell, but he's super young. He was the highest overall. I wasn't really thinking about fit when it comes to the draft. I was just more trying to get the right or get the best player. And I think we did that. So Russell Westbrook does go down in overall like I expected him to. And Danny D only jumps up three. That's so disappointed. I was expecting him to or wanting him to jump up so much more than that. But three. Three is a fine number. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll take that. It's a slow grind, baby. Uh, we still got both of our star players under contract for multiple years. I'm just saying Jonathan uh, Kaminga to potential cap. Same thing with Denny. Get that up a little bit more for next year. Um, so we still have Bradley Beal under for at least one more season. But he's got a player. Okay. All right. That makes things a little bit more difficult. Extremely loyal. I'm ready to sign an extension. If that's the case, then let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, let's take some of the money down a little bit, save us a little bit of money. Okay, okay, so I'm not worried about that, but Russell Westbrook says test free agency, which, which means to me, <laughs> I need to do all of this rebuilding right now because the purpose of this video is to try to get them a championship together, and I can't do that if Russell Westbrook walks. So let's turn this roster into that championship team, starting off with Davis Bertens probably being one of the odd men out. We talked about needing defense, and well, we're getting one of the best defensive players in this entire game, Jonathan Isaac. He plays for the Clippers now. Uh, he's another one of those players in 2K that always ends up on a new team after the first season. They always decline his player option or, or his two-year team option because he was a rookie. But we're bringing him into the team. For a team that I said was struggling on the def defensive side of the ball, to bring in a guy like him is a huge W. We have to fix this center position. I'm cool with Enos Cantor being a part of the roster, but not the starting center, you know? So we have to figure that out. And Jonathan Isaac is making a lot of money on top of that. I think that's fine. I think we can find a good cheap center uh, that fits what we want to do. I want to somehow try to get Mitchell Robinson without giving up a pick. Um, is that possible? What if I give you two seconds, Leon Rose? Okay, how about four seconds? All right, deal. I didn't want to give up a first round pick, but we have another defensive anchor, and that is going to be Mitchell Robinson. So this team is feeling a lot better now. Um, the only problem is we don't have any like wings. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga is a power, small, small forward slash power forward. Same thing with Denny Abdiya. Uh, so we need to get that wing depth up. So now that we have Mitchell Robinson, we don't need Mo Wagner or and Enos Cancer. So let's go try to trade one of them for like point guard slash shooting guard type play because right now we got Royal Nato and Andre Roberson, who is way past what he used to be. And we're getting that from Tomas Sadaransky. He's just straight up one for one trade. I got what they need. They don't really have a center. Um, actually, they have a, a bunch of young centers. And I need a point guard. So I got that in Tomas Sadaransky. And him being 6'7 means that he can run backup point guard and backup shooting guard. We need him to. Is this a championship team now with Jonathan Isaac? We're Rui Hachimura starting, and we'll, we'll monitor his, his play throughout the season. And then Mitchell Robinson protecting the paint, getting two-plus blocks a game, and, and catching those lobs from Russell Westbrook. We shall see. First game of the season is against the Milwaukee Bucks, and it is a convincing win for the for the Washington Wizards. I don't know where Giannis end up, ended up, but he is not here anymore. And Jonathan Kaminga in his first NBA game puts up 15-7 off the bench. Denny Abdiya uh, plays point forward very very well that's one thing i can say he's going to be able to pass that ball so after season three and no that's a beautiful thing bradley yep looking great russell westbrook we'll take it he's close to that triple double russell westbrook again y'all better watch out trade deadline is here i'm gonna stop it here because i don't know if there's gonna be a team out there selling a rebuild and i want to make a trade with we're the three seed this year which is better than what we were last year at this point um, only three games out of the first seed and the new york knicks are up there oh they signed Giannis and anthony davis oh Okay, the Knicks are the team to beat. Oh my God, I hate to say that. They also brought in Zaire uh, Williams because, I mean, they ended up with the seventh overall pick. Yo, I mean, they're, the, the top of the team is looking kind of buns with Kevin Knox, Emmanuel Quickly, who I like, um, and Austin Rivers being their starting point guard. But, okay, look out for the Knicks. Look out for both teams in New York because this team just was the eighth seed and made a finals run. Uh, but we're looking good out west. The Houston Rockets cannot make it work with John Wall and James Harden, I guess. But we're looking solid. Now, is there a team going to be selling or rebuilding that we can make a potential trade with to increase our roster? Now, we do have a lot of money on our top three players. And that is, of course, uh, Bradley Beal, Russell Westbrook, and John Isaac. But if we can get one of these cheap players somewhere, I don't know where. Oh, Cade Cunningham ended up in Chicago. I like the idea of that. Where is that? Somebody has to be selling, right? Okay, so the Utah Jazz are selling. The Utah Jazz, they just extended Rudy Gobert. Bogey's make or Bojan is making too much money for my blood. Um, they don't really have anything that I would want to trade for that would be cheap. 
I mean, Jeremy Grant making $20 million. I can't do it. Will Barton making $14 million. I wish I could, but I can't do it. So, okay, that's... The Lakers are selling, too, with LeBron signing that extension. They gave some money to Montrez. 18, 19, 20, 22. All right, if that's what they want to do. But, yeah, nobody else... They don't have anything on their roster that I want either. So, it looks like we're going past the trade deadline without improving our roster for this last little push. Which I don't like the idea of, but I'm not, I'm literally not seeing trades that'll help us out, you know, at all. Monitoring, like I said, uh, what Rui Hachimura is up to. He's having a nice little bounce back season, shooting it more efficiently, which is a good thing. Denny Abdi is actually taking a step back in his efficiency a bit, but I guess it's fine. Kaminga's looking very good his rookie year. Uh, for some reason, Mitchell Robinson is upset. I don't care. You're going to continue to do what you do. And our top two guys are still leading us in scoring. But I don't, like I was mentioning earlier, I don't think there's a trade out there to be done to increase our team. So, I mean, I'm going to try, I'll try, but nothing. Is this a team that we think is winning the championship? Ah, that's rough, man. It's rough. And and I know some of y'all like, can he trade John Isaac? Then the 10 points per game ain't worth it. But like he, like I mentioned earlier, when it comes to that defensive stuff, he be getting that award easily. And we need that type of stuff. Adding him to the roster. Let's take a look at our team stats. Points allowed. We are the, the best defense in the league. Because of him. Because of Mitchell Robinson. So I, I feel okay with paying him that much money because his impact is so great. We're also one of the worst shooting teams in the league when it comes to three-point percentage and made a game. That's kind of concerning. Um, I'm doing it. I'm sim simming past it. And we get a big win. Uh, it was only two points. But this is a team that we're going to be battling with if we want to win that Eastern Conference. So to get that win is, is important. And we get a couple more. Um, I didn't want to simcast that. I actually want to go into it and see if we have any more All-Stars. Russell Westbrook is an All-Star and Bradley Beal is an All-Star. So two All-Stars again. Defensive Player of the Year potentially. I'm feeling good. And Luka wins MVP. K. Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Six Man of the Year goes to Boogie, who is no longer in Houston, but in Miami instead. We do get Defensive Player of the Year in Jonathan Isaac. Tyrese Halliburton wins Most Improved. And then Rick Carlisle wins Coach of the Year with Bob McKnight being executive. I don't know who that is. Uh, do we have anybody on all NBA teams that are... Nope. I don't think we're going to. Uh, we should have a rookie, right? No? What? Kaminga don't even make the rookie team? Hey, he put up real good numbers, though. I'm, I'm not mad at his production. He, he got snubbed. I'm trying to see what happened for us to fall. The Boston Celtics, we lost the last game of the season. The Boston Celtics won three to end it all. We actually ended the season on a bad little streak at four and six. So not the best momentum going into things, but anything can happen in the playoffs. So first round, we are going against the Miami Heat, who made a legendary run a few years ago. It's our time to make that legendary run. And if we don't, then I don't know how the heck we convince Russell Westbrook to come back to this team next season. We're up 3-0. 3-2. I am not here to be playing games. Um, we are not here to be playing games. They want to take Rui Hachimura at the rotation completely and put Denny Abdiya in the starting lineup. Um, but I might, I might do it like that instead, bro. Like this. We didn't, we're not about to blow a 3-0 lead, are we? This is not good signs. Even if we get out of this game, it's not good signs for an overall run in the playoffs. We're up 15, up 10 plus in the fourth quarter. It's a, It was closer than it should have been. We get out of the first round. After being up 3-0, we almost blew it. Tyler Hero had a game. Jimmy Butler struggled heavily, and that was the determinant factor. Okay, so we're going against another 8 seed, Cleveland. Cleveland making the moves. Yo, that is a blessing for us that we don't have to go against Brooklyn. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's a blessing. Now, you're like, Kenny, this team beat Brooklyn. That's not the way I'm thinking about it. It's about matchups, and we don't match up well against Brooklyn. Like, this team right here, we're significantly better than this team. If we lose this series, we should be ashamed of ourselves. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. Thank you for taking care of the Brooklyn Nets for us. Now the, oh my, okay, all right, hey, hey, people are going to be mad at this championship because the team that I was most afraid of with Anthony Davis and Giannis get eliminated by the Celtics. Now, the Celtics are a very good team, do not get me wrong, um, but I was more afraid of the other team because of the top two talents. They, they're starting Aaron Neesmith, which is interesting. 
um, instead of like Marcus Smart. I don't even know. Was Marcus Smart even on the team anymore? They didn't trade Mark. Okay, he is. He's coming off the bench. Game one is a win for the Washington Wizards. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling very good. Game two is a win for the Washington Wizards. Everything is going to plan plus some. Game three. All right. We did it. We're in the finals. We're in the finals. And we don't have to go against Luka? Cakewalk finals appearance. I don't care. At the end of the day, if we win this series, Russell Westbrook is a champion, even if it was an easy path. Bradley Beal is a champion, even if it was an easy path. Um, Denver, wow. And with with Luka putting up a triple-double, 40-point triple-double in a game seven, it wasn't enough because Jokic put up a 2017-9 game. Shout-out to Jamal Murray, too. Game one is a win for the Washington Wizards. Bradley Beal and James Harden. Um, Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook working out well so far. Big loss. We gonna get past that. Not even thinking about it. Game three, we fight back and we get another win. Our wins are way closer than theirs. But shout out to Russell Westbrook for stepping it up on the defensive side of the ball in the game with five steals. Oh, and also Jonathan Isaac ending with seven steals in a game. In a finals game. I don't know what the record is for most steals in a finals game. That's gotta be up there. Go up 3-0. Please go up 3-0. We got a series. We got a series, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, what was the determinant factor here? I don't know. We had 17 turnovers to their 15. Um, I don't know. I, nothing on the, the box score tells the story of why we lost this game. We just ended up losing. Game five is a win for the Washington Wizards. We are one game away, and that is a big win. Demoralizing win going into a game six elimination game. Wait, what did that box score say? Bradley Beal, sheesh. I mean, he had 29, but he took 30 shots to get 29. We won, so I'm not complaining. Jonathan Kaminga could not have been playing much better, bro. Shout out to the rookie for coming in and having big cojones and playing big time minutes for a team trying to make a championship run. Now, it looks like we're going to game seven because they came out hot, hot, hot. And we almost made that comeback in the fourth quarter, but we were down by too much. All right, all right, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, we're ready for it, we're ready for it. I am shortening the rotation even more. Um, told my Sadoransky, I'm sorry we're taking all those minutes away. Bradley Bill is tired. Russell Westbrook is not. Um, John Isaac, I need more defense from you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Game seven. Can the Washington Wizards get, get a championship? Their first championship as the Washington Wizards. We're up by 20 in the first quarter. Called game. We called game. We called series. 25-point game. It's over with. The Washington Wizards are champions, and Bradley Beal gets a Finals MVP award. But more importantly, Russell Westbrook in a Game 7 put up 37, 14, 12. Incredible. Incredible. Jokic, nothing. I always like those super stressful championship runs where it's not just, I sweep this series, this series, this series. But everybody came to play, and it took a couple seven-game series. But we got Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal a championship in Washington. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. I'll be back tomorrow because we upload every single day in December, at least until Christmas. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.